This morning, we practice St. Stephen's annual presentation of Bibles. This morning, we remember Mila Benny, Elena Carson, Spencer Hall, Annalise Lamantia, and Xavier Morris. This is a special day in the life of St. Stephen. We are a church, a congregation, a community that places its emphasis on word and sacrament. And today, we give these students a Bible which speaks the good news of God as promised to God's people in every generation. We, of course, live in a very unique and different time, a time where the presentation of these Bibles maybe takes on a particular significance, because where we cannot gather as the community as we would like, we are still a community. And God's word that is present in this place certainly becomes a gift that we have and share and that cannot be bounded or limited by what we face or our inability to gather together. We're still God's people and God's word will find a way. So the time has come for these students to have their very own Bible, to read its stories and participate in the study of God's Word together with all of the people of St. Stephen and the ELCA and the church throughout the world. We, the community of St. Stephen, rejoice together with these students because this is a special time of church growth and the reminder that God's word is not limited or removed by any obstacle. And so now we pass on together in our own way this valuable treasure, the book of our faith. By the time the students receive these books of faith, the treasure will be wrapped in brown wrapping paper to remind the students that it is a very old book. This book records God's relationship with God's people for 30 centuries, something around 3,000 years. And some parts of this book were composed more than a thousand years before Jesus Christ. Some stories are so old that they were told even before people knew how to write. Praise God for this ancient treasure that has always found a way. We sometimes think of gold as a valuable, maybe the most valuable thing there is. So underneath of the brown paper will be gold paper, because inside of this paper, is a treasure that is more valuable than gold because its source is it's a source of truth and guidance for us even in exile and separateness and even gold cannot buy the word of god and the stories that this book contains men and women have actually died to save this book and they have been put in prison because they read it. In some churches, and from time to time in St. Stephen, to show how much this book is valued, people decorate it with jewels. Praise God for this valuable treasure that is now placed into the hands of these students. As the students continue to unwrap, They've gone through the brown paper, through the gold paper, and they've discovered that underneath of that is comic strip paper. Because this is a book of stories. Some of the best stories of all time are found in this book. 
Noah and the ark, Daniel and the lion's den, Moses receiving the Ten Commandments, the parables of Jesus, Paul and his shipwreck and his letters. It's all there. And still we wonder. What did the story mean to the first people who ever heard it? Why did people think this story was so important that it must be written down? Why have people kept it? And why, have it, why is it so important that we hand it to our kids today? What do these stories mean for our lives? Today, we will not be stopped. The Word of God will still be shared. And we praise God for the stories of our faith. The Bible is an inspired book. It came from a people who had a special understanding of God. Therefore, it is not like any other book that any of us will ever own. When we read it, we hear again and we are helped to understand what God is like and led by the Spirit to know how God wants us to live. This book inspires us. It will not be stopped because it is God's Word. And we pray it will continue to inspire these students, their families, and all of us as we continue to grow in faith together. Xavier, Elena, Annalise, Mila, Spencer, all of your family, the people of St. Stephen, accept this gift as a sign of our unfailing faithfulness to God's living word that continues to be passed on from generation to generation, no matter what may limit us. Receive this Bible as God's word of saving grace in every time and in every place.